So this is her bamba. This is what she takes for her peanuts. We gave preschool children small measured amounts of peanut protein and built it up over several weeks. And we found that it was very safe. Only 0.4% of the preschoolers, and there were 270 of them uh, that started the study, only 0.4% experienced a severe reaction. And out of 40,000 or so doses of peanut that were administered, only 12 required epinephrine. It's been a life changer. All her allergies kind of absorbed our family, and in terms of everything, we couldn't have um, we couldn't have nuts in the house. My other child is a picky eater. The only thing he seemed to want to eat was a peanut butter sandwich. We could not give him that. Um, whereas now, like lately, because she's also doing OIT for tree nuts, we will sit on the same table and have pancakes with nuts on it. He will have his peanut butter sandwich sitting right next to her, and that's something that you know, two years ago was unheard of for us. If you can achieve this milestone of, of uh, uh, reaching uh, tolerance or, or desensitization in the youngsters, then you uh, avoid the situation of developing poor quality of life, uh, increased anxiety, and the social isolation and, and potential bullying and other ramifications that occur with long-standing uh, peanut and life-threatening food allergy. I like to taste the peanuts now. And um, I like the way the color is. We finally have something to offer to patients beyond avoiding peanut and avoiding what they're allergic to and carrying the epinephrine auto injector. That's the only thing that we've been able to offer these families for decades. And as they were losing hope, now we have given them a glimmer of hope. At present, this is uh, 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 you know, felt to largely be protection from accidental exposures, but even then, parents seem to be very happy if they can at least offer them that.